Hi everyone. So this week we are going to read the Parsha of Re'eh. Portion of the week starts off the first verse that God gives us a choice, two options. You could either get a bracha, a blessing, a number of blessings, if you keep the commandments, and God forbid a klala, a curse, or a set of curses, if you don't keep the commandments. It appears to be an easy choice. God even recommends at the end of the parsha, uvacharta b'chayim, choose life, choose the good. But as we know, it's not as easy as it seems. Now this coming week, we will be commemorating Rosh Chodesh, the beginning of the month of Elul, the month before Rosh Hashanah, the new year. And we also know here there are also choices. Every one of us makes those choices before the new year. Hopefully the good choices, choices that will result in a good year a healthy year, a productive year. That is what we pray for on Rosh Hashanah, that the choices we make will be good ones. Now I'm on top here of the roof of the yeshiva, looking around the city, as you see, going around. And I don't have to tell you what an unbelievable, beautiful city Sterot is. And here also people have made choices. They have chosen to live here. No one is forced them to live in this beautiful city, even though there are difficulties, even though it's hard. But when they sit down with their families and look at the entire picture, they choose to live here. They choose because they know that at the end of the day, this is the right choice. This is a good choice. This is an important choice. Now, unfortunately, Stero, like other places, went through a very difficult year. Financially, especially due to COVID for already the year and a half. And then we had the war in May, the operation the Guardian of the Walls. Now the yeshiva, every year, we go and we start, we have a campaign to help the needy families in Sterot. We feel that it's our responsibility to help our neighbors. That's the least we can do, like we say. Now, as of today, the numbers in Sterot aren't that good. 1,900 families, according to the city, are in need of some type of welfare. So we are turning to you, our friends, like we do every year and asking you to help us that these families should have a happy Rosh Hashanah, be able to sit down at the table with basic needs. We just had a campaign was for the yeshiva to help build, to help expand the Beit Midrash, the dining room, the kitchen. This is for the families. This campaign is strictly for the people in Sterot to help them. So please help us help them. On Sunday we'll be beginning a two to three week campaign. Hopefully you'll be able to help as many families as possible. Thank you so much. Have a great Shabbat and a very meaningful Rosh Chodesh. Thank you very much.